I'm gonna cut this out in post. Thank you. So, uh, welcome to what I said earlier, but you didn't hear me. <laughs> Part two of uh, analyzing player personalities and what you might find at a table and in a group environment. And thank you. And I'm sorry. It's been two years. I still don't know how to use this toy. Right. Like I promised last time with one day's break behind us, we're going to start talking today about the second part of this analysis that I've got this many notes and I've gotten through this many notes. This is going to make sense in a couple of episodes, but we're going to continue talking about player types. And this time, this episode, we're going to focus on temperaments and what people perceive emotionally when engaging in a group activity. You know, like role playing. So, there's this guy called David Kiersey that identified four more general patterns from the 16 types of Myers Briggs personality, whatever, and built a new model. Uh, he's got a book co written with Marilyn Bates called Please Understand Me. Now, Kersey took these four temperaments and uh, gave them a couple of names. Artisan, Guardian, Rational, and Idealist. Let's go over these and find out how they relate to the Bartle types and why they're different. So, Artisan, which can be sensing about sensing and perceiving the environment that you're put into, uh, imagination-wise, is a realistic tactical and sort of manipulative kind of player, pragmatic, um, but not necessarily a planner. It's kind of an impulsive player, a player who wants to be in charge, but who wants to do it because they're seeking a sort of sensation, a kick, a fix for a need, rather a want, to exert some sort of control, extraneous control, right, of things or people like we defined last got that video. I make more sense in that. Realistic, tactical, manipulative, pragmatic, but impulsive leader type personality because they're about sensing the world around them or that's put around them by the game's environment and perceiving minute details that they can affect and effect. Did you notice, by the way, that the, the YouTube captions, the auto-generated ones, because I'm too hot and bothered to make my own, have begun censoring curse words. Like if I say fuck, it's gonna be parentheses. The second one is guardian, which is about sensing, but not really perceiving, so analyzing, but it's more surface level, it's about judging. So it's a practical, logistical, I'm reading off a notes here, I'm sorry, hierarchical type of player, but that is organized and detail oriented. So might be more surface level about what they perceive about the world, the things, but more process focused and seeking patterns and security in the players. Ergo, guarding them. Not gonna spend a lot of time on this one. It is inherently maybe equated to your tag and support players. You can kind of see where this is going. Then you've got the rational thinker. They're all about intuition and thinking. Innovation, strategy, logics, these do great as out-of-the-box thinkers, as innovators, as puzzle solvers. Often, you know, the knowledge-seeking sandbox type of players. So you can see them delving into every minute detail you put in front of them as a challenge. They're quick to identify challenges. They're quick to receive and be receptive of challenge type situations. And they're going to be very quick to spearhead then we've got the idealist. We've got intuition, right? We've got this sort of intelligence, but this time identifying more emotional intelligence and situational awareness with people, groups, and interactions. So we've got intuition and feeling, right? The, the EQ kind of thing. So we've got imagination, but we've also got a diplomatic approach, an emotional understanding, and this type of player is very dramatic and person-focused, relationship-oriented, and more often than not, this is some of your best RP at the table. These type of players are what you're going to aim for so that you can build with them and off of them, usually to very interesting results, very 
unexpected depth and surprising amounts of not loudness but introspective identity seeking moments right okay so again right we've reached the point where i need to recap my own recap right we've got artisans guardians rationals and idealists so each of the four temperaments can be a combination of external internal or and or change and structure so let's see how this works right because this is where we can start combining things into Kiersey plus Bartle. So here's how it goes. Artisan is external change, right? Wants power to be free to act at will on people and things. Hmm? Pretty easy, right? Your action man defined in the first variant. Then we've got the guardian who is external structure. So security of possessions obtained by following the rules, right? This is your rules as written player. This is your tank. Then you've got the rational, which is internal structure, right? You've got the satisfaction of understanding how things work. So this is your most intrinsical thinker, right? Internal structure. And then finally, you've got the idealist, which is internal change. Now that we're beginning to understand what we can use this toolkit of analysis and identification for, I'm going to leave things off right here. In the meantime, if you've liked my ramble, hit some buttons down below. I don't know what they do, but a lot of people are insisting that you do.